I tried and ranked the 10 weirdest final meals from inmates on death row. There are some crazy ones, like this guy who asked for dirt for a voodoo ritual. But don't click off because at the end, I have to try to eat the largest final meal in US history, or I have to go streaking around my apartment complex that has hundreds of people in it. Oh, and watch until the end to subscribe or you're gonna get 10 years of bad luck. Sorry. So we're gonna be ranking the top 10 famous last meals that people requested before they were, you know what I'm saying? I've got them all here. Oh, hello. I'm in the, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we've got Timothy McVeigh, uh, Eileen Warnos, James Smith, uh, John Wayne Gacy, Lawrence Brower, Philip Workman, Ted Bundy, Teresa Lewis, Velma Barfield, and Victor. I don't know how to say his last name. So we have all of them. And then these are their famous last meals. So now you'll notice in the channel points, there are things that you guys can do to make me eat more of the food, eat less of the food, throw it away. You can make me do a whole lot of stuff in there. So without further ado, let's go with Timothy McVeigh's two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now this is a pretty solid start. I, I can't lie. So we're starting off with a nice little opening, a little peel here. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is a perfect. Look at how creamy the cream is. Look at how creamy that ice cream is. Wow. It's in such a good state. Oh my God. Let me start off with how crazy do you have to be for your last meal? There'd be ice cream, bro. Like, hello? Hello? Shit does go absolutely insane though. Oh my God. All right, let's talk about what Timothy McVeigh did. Did the uh, Oklahoma City bombing. And he requested two pints of Ben and Jerry's mint chocolate chip ice cream, which he ate in a windowless nine by 14 foot holding cell the night before he was put to death. Reminder, Tim had the mint chocolate chip. We'll put him B, I guess. I guess we'll go with B. All right, what do they have next for us? Victor, is it Fieger? Fieger had a single unpitted olive. Conven convicted for the murder of Dr. Edward Bartles, Victor was executed by hanging in March 15th, 1963 in Iowa. Victor chose a single olive with a pit for his last meal, reportedly saying he hoped that a tree that the hoped that the tree that symbolized peace would sprout from his grave. The olive pit was found found in his suit pocket when he was buried. I've got an olive here. I don't like olives. So, God, I don't want to eat this. Okay, um, Victor, let's talk, okay? With your single unpitted olive, uh, Victor, that's gonna be the hardest D tier I've ever seen. Matter of fact, Victor, we're gonna make this tier F tier just for you. We're gonna make this F tier, we're gonna go A, S, A, B, C, F because of Victor. And solely because of Victor. Eileen Carol Warno, a cup of coffee. Serial killer Eileen Carol Warneau was executed by lethal injection in 2002 for this murder of seven men in Florida. Warneau declined a special last meal and instead was served a cup of coffee. We've got our cup of coffee. It is Starbucks coffee from the Starbucks little can thingy. We'll give it a, we'll give it a taste, I guess, just straight black coffee. I mean, that's good coffee. I mean, that's good coffee. Eileen might have been on to something here with the cup of coffee, I'm sure. I don't know if she had Folgers in her cup, but this Starbucks stuff is good. Eileen, I, might, I think you might be on to something. We're going to go with A, just a straight cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. John Wayne Gracie. Now, this one is interesting. John Wayne Gracie had deep fried shrimp. I did miss the deep fried shrimp. I don't know how I missed that. My fault, pimp. French fries and a pound of strawberries. Uh, before his execution by lethal injection in Illinois, John Wayne... Okay, they have Gracie and Gacy. I think it's Gacy. Also known as the Killer Clown wanted a dozen deep fried shrimp and a bucket of original recipe chicken from KFC. French fries and a pound of strawberries. Man might have been one of the most ruthless serial killers of all time, but wow. The KFC selection was... At least eight tier. It's an American American serial killer who murdered 33 young men um, in the 1970s, received international media attention, and shocked his suburban Chicago community, where he was known for his sociability and his performance as a clown at charitable events. Mm. Yeah, these taste so weird. They're like perfect strawberries. They don't taste. They taste perfect. Like they shouldn't be this sweet and tangy all at the same time. Might have been one of the most ruthless, scary serial killers in U.S. history. But he did have a good last meal. 
I'm gonna throw it into the front of H here. We might have to go. We might have to go into S potentially. Ooh, Chad! We have Ted Bundy with steak and eggs. Ted Bundy was executed by electric chair on January 24th, 1989, after confessing the murder of 30 women. The infamous serial killer declined a last meal, so he was offered a traditional plate of steak, eggs, hash browns, and coffee instead, none of which he ate. Look at Halite, chefing it up in the kitchen. Look at Halite in the kitchen, whipping it up one time for the kids. Come on. I'm so good at making steaks. This might be S tier just because I was whipping it up in the kitchen. Keep in mind, I'm making 10 meals at once and we're making steak at this quality? What are we talking about? So shout out to the state of Florida for making our first S tier meal. Absolutely incredible food. Wow. Velma Barfield cheese doodles and a can of Coca-Cola. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Velma Barfield later dubbed the death row granny was the first woman to be executed by lethal injection in 1984, since the reinstatement of capital punishment seven years prior. Absolute psychopath ordering cheese doodles. However, an absolute W from Coca-Cola with a 100% recycled bottle. Cheese doodles, yummy. Um, nom, 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 nom. All jokes aside, cheese doodles are fucking different. They're so good. Wow, this is about to get really gruesome, chat. Velma and her father developed a sexual relationship through her adolescent years, which she was eager to escape from. At 17, she married a high school boyfriend, Thomas Burke, and gave birth to two children. She needed an emergency hysterectomy, which made her feel insecure about her womanhood. Her husband began to drink, so she felt alone. After a fight with her husband, Velma left the house with her children and left Thomas home alone. The house mysteriously caught on fire, killing her husband and destroying her home. Velma and the kids moved back home with her parents. Soon after they moved back, she married Jennings Barfield, a fellow widower. After an argument with Velma, Jennings became mysteriously ill. He contracted an illness shortly after and died of a heart attack. Velma and the kids moved back home once again. Her father soon died of lung cancer, a death she had no hand in, and her mother became mysteriously ill. Nobody suspected foul play, and Velma began taking jobs around town as a caretaker. Two separate couples that employed Velma to be a caretaker also became ill in her care and died. A new boyfriend, Stuart Taylor, also passed mysteriously after he found her stealing from him and forging his checks. After Stewart's service, an anonymous tip to the police led to an investigation. An autopsy was performed and found traces of arsenic from rat poison in his system. They went back to the other deaths in Velma's life and found the same brand of rat poison in their system. Velma then confessed to four, mur four of the murders and was given the death sentence. And although psychiatric witnesses tried to stop Velma from being sentenced, she was convicted in the end. Um, I'm going to go with uh, C tier. For the cheese doodles and Coke, mainly because the Coke has more sugar than the ice cream, and the ice cream tastes better than Coke, so. All right, James Edward Smith was given yogurt after being denied a lump of dirt. James Edward Smith, who was executed in Texas in June of 1990, takes the prize for one of the strangest last meal requests, a lump of dirt. Since dirt was not on the institution's list of approved foods, prison officials denied the request, and Smith was given yogurt instead. <laughs> All right. Get a big old spoonful. On the afternoon of March 7, 1983, James Edward Smith entered the office of the Union Life Insurance Company, armed and masked. He approached the window where Deborah Renee Wilson was counting money from the cash drawer. Smith aimed and cocked his gun and demanded Wilson to give him all the money. In a state of panic, she ran behind the file cabinet. Larry Don Rois then proceeded to the window and handed Smith the money. He turned around, walked towards Wilson, and was ordered back to the window by Smith. Rois began to plead for his life, but Smith was not satisfied. He shot Rois the upper left side of his chest, which eventually killed him. Smith was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Six hours before he was to be executed, Smith's mother, um, Alex Hamilton, won her son a reprieve from the U.S. Supreme Court. She claimed Smith suffered from mental problems and was not competent enough to waive his own appeal. Despite his mother's attempt to delay his execution, Smith insisted he was ready to die. He claimed he wanted to leave the material world and return to the spiritual world. He repeatedly claimed he was innocent, but he did not want to spend the rest of his life on death 
bro. Now, are we going to rate yogurt or are we going to rate dirt? I think we have to do the yogurt. Um, and the yogurt is going to be... F tier for me. It's going to be F tier for me. I just didn't like the yogurt that much. Um, <clears throat> for reasons unknown. Was not a huge fan of the yogurt. Teresa Lewis fried chicken, sweet peas, Dr. Pepper, and German chocolate cake. Hey, let's get after this one, huh? I mean, peas, peas just give me like really big school vibes. You know what I'm saying? A little fried chicken action. Fried chicken has no business being this good. Chad, that's edible cookie dough. That's edible cookie dough. I mean, it's all edible, you know what I'm saying? But I want to have sex with it. I've never wanted to have sex with a piece of cake before in my life until now. Chad, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this shit down, bro. This is the top of S tier so far. The fried chicken with the peas and then that cake. That cake's going to get finished, chat. Philip Workman. Philip Workman denied a final meal, but asked that a vegetable pizza would be donated to the homeless. Philip Workman was put to death in May 2009 in Nashville for the murder of a police officer. In his final meal, Workman asked that a vegetarian pizza be donated to homeless people in the area. While prison officials refused to grant the criminal's wish, surrounding homeless shelters were inundated with pizzas in honor of Workman's request on the final on the day of the execution. Yeah, we got the homeless person. We got him. Hey, bird. There we go. You're welcome. Enjoy it. You got that pizza way. How could you rank it? Well, that's a good point. And for that reason, it's going to go straight into B tier because I didn't eat it. Okay. Um, now, here we go. There's one person left, and it's Lawrence Brower. Now, Lawrence Brower is probably the most evil person I have ever. And we're talking about nine other people that did very, 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 very bad things. But Lawrence Brower... A whole different kind of evil now i'm not going to read anything about him on stream because i did a little bit of research last night because he had a very weird final meal and that's why it's last you know it's been saved for last um what did the elaborate meal consist of two chicken fried steaks a triple patty cheeseburger, a cheese omelet, a bowl of fried okra, one pound of barbecue meat, three fajitas, a meat lover's pizza, one pint of bluebill ice cream, a slab of peanut butter fudge, and three root beers. Don't worry. Got a professional meat eater on the block. Okay. Wait, wait. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? This burger's about to be a lot. No, uh, fuck, dude. Fuck this guy. C tier. Fuck you.